Motor tour, road tour, road trip, travel guide to Davao City. One week from Christmas. Yes, Christmas. Where has the year gone, guys? Where has the year gone? Jolly Beer McDonald's on the right, Heretics on the left, nice big sign. Oh. Do they know what they're doing? Do they know it's Christmas time again? As you can see, CTMO man is here moving on the jeepneys because they are the ones that block everything up. One lane, two lane, three lane. Yeah. But there are also some uh, flatbed trucks that just don't know what they're doing all over the place. It's a little bit overcast today. Uh, as I'm riding down here. Does he really know what he's doing? I don't think so. There's a Honda dealer. So what are you guys going to be doing for Christmas? Have you got all your cards sent? Have you sent out all of your presents? Have you put your decorations up? I know that uh, Freddie was doing some uh, little Christmas rings the other day. Very, very nice. He, Chris Rogers sent uh, sent out a uh, a messenger, a picture of him doing it. Oh, that was a big hole. So that was really really nice. I enjoyed enjoyed seeing Freddie. Uh, look at those traffic in is a little bit nutty, isn't it? Look at that. That's a little bit nutty. So what I'm doing is I'm going down here today. Uh, I was going to go up my my road, but uh, it's flooded. Lots of rain last night. Lots of rain. Uh, so I think it stopped raining, well it started raining around 10 o'clock and I think it finished around half past five this morning. Uh, there's no sun out at the moment, so uh, it's taken a long time for it to dry out. There's that flatbed truck again. See, I told you didn't know what he was doing. So it's a really nice cool day today. Uh, coming down here to Sasa. Um, oh, there we go. Samuel Ferry Wharf. Very, very quiet. A few bits going in, but they're most probably going to be key workers or uh, people that live there returning home for Christmas. Once again, that flatbed truck just sitting there in the middle of the road doesn't know whether he wants to have one lane or two lanes. Uh, there we go. That's the police. Out 
for lunch. Yeah, so as I said, I'm going down here. I'm going to go left. Oh, look at that. There's the Sea Winds condominium over there. They look nice. But, yeah, I think there's going to be a little bit of a rush when, uh, when the new year opens. I was reading that uh, Philippines has uh, done a deal regarding this uh, vaccine from China, Sino, whatever it's called, which is 81% success, uh, not 81% effectiveness. Uh, they've also missed the ball, what they're saying, they dropped the ball regarding the Pfizer deal, uh, and they were apologising in the press in the last couple of days. So you pay these politicians a lot of money and they cock it up. Why are you paying the money? You can take the money away from them because they're not doing their job. Their job was to get the vaccine into the Philippines. They drop the ball, don't pay them. There we go. Easy, isn't it? Um, so, if any of those politicians have companies and their staff aren't working, they'll still turn around and, they'll soon turn around and stop their money. Yeah. Anyway, so that's... Uh, so Pfizer's... Pfizer should be in Philippines by June next year. Moderna, I don't know anything about, as we, as me and Salina were talking about it this week. Um, the uh, Astanza, I think it's Astanza, the one that's in Oxford in the UK. Uh, I think they're still running trials. I still think there's a few things going on, but uh, I've not heard much about that. Um, in the last uh, in the last couple of weeks or the last week but uh, that's life really isn't it when the vaccine gets here the vaccine gets here whether it's five dollars a shot or forty dollars a shot you have to pay it yeah there's nothing else you can turn around and do um, I'd like to be more positive regarding travel for 2020, uh, 2021. Sorry, but I think it's going to be uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be countries forming bubbles with their with other countries that have eradicated or had all the vaccines taken. I don't think it's going to be you can go out there and travel. I think that's uh, for me. That's one of the one of the key things. Yeah, as I was saying, there is just so much you need to do now um, to do international travel, and and the fear factor, or the scary part about it, is if you get to where you want to go and the rules change or the pandemic starts in that area then you're locked down in that area you know and for people that want to travel and they're on a budget and they turn around and they want to you know <coughs> enjoy the holiday enjoy the experience it's not going to be enjoyable if you've got that that weight sitting on the back of your mind that you could go to somewhere yeah like Singapore and there could be a spike in the pandemic and Singapore closes its borders for six months you're, you're there in Singapore for six months you've got your visa issues you've got your money issues you've got where you're gonna stay issues I, yeah it's uh, it ain't going back to normal, I can tell you that. I don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. Oh, don't you just love... Oh, look at that guy. Hello. Hello. Come on, Bobo. Oh, what an idiot. Anyway, here we go. So we're coming up here 
I'm looking for uh, LPU, okay, and it's the uh, Lyceum Philippine University, and I've got my fingers crossed that I can actually go inside. Yeah, but this is uh, MacArthur Highway. Very, very quiet for a Friday, isn't it? Very quiet. Yeah. Okay, so there is. Okay, so 